This morning on Pet Savers, Humane CMY has just finished up one of their biggest fundraisers of the year, but dogs and cats are always in need of a home, and we have two very eligible individuals up for adoption with us today, and specifically Snoopy. Yes. I'm joined this morning by Christine McNeely, the Executive Director over at Humane CMY. Right. Uh, give us a, an intro again. I know he's been back again. Yeah, but so S Snoopy is our, our current in-house um, little orphan, mm -hmm. and you know we talked about him last week. You know the importance of keeping puppies with mom until they're eight weeks. Mm -hmm. So he's coming up now on you know just about seven weeks old, and we actually had a mom and some puppies come into the shelter, and mm -hmm. they have accepted him wonderfully into their little litter. Um, so eventually Snoopy will be going up for adoption. Um, the litter is kind of on a, a legal hold right now. We may have some of them available. Mm -hmm. So it's important if anybody is looking to adopt to, to follow us on Humane CNY because we'll be posting okay. updates on any dogs that we have available for adoption. Yeah, and that timeline is typically nine weeks that you guys let puppies go from their, their moms, or you like them to have that yeah, amount of time, Yeah, we right? like puppies to stay with moms between eight and nine weeks, and then mm -hmm. once we spay or neuter them, um, we, we let them go home. We do have some great vets in the area that do pediatric spays, mm -hmm. so we're, we're able to get these puppies home, you know, before they're, before they're on the older side of things. Gotcha, so. and we've got Maria here, who is yes. part of that same litter, Yeah, correct? so Maria okay. is actually Snoopy's favorite foster sister, Aww. and they've kind of been terrorizing my office area for the last few days, but it's wonderful because he, he has a family and he's got a dog mom that's training him how to how to have some doggy manners. So there it's, it's been very good for him. Yeah, an adoptive family in that sense. Yes, uh, absolutely. I know I mentioned your bake sale at the beginning. How did you guys turn out? That was happening yesterday, and I know there's some carryover that you guys are doing today, too. Uh, it, wonderful. Our, our volunteers, and especially our, our board member, Sarah, that, that headed it up this year, mm -hmm. have, have broken our record. I mean, they're, they're going on almost $12,000 right now. Wow. Um, we will actually have part two today at the shelter, where we'll, we'll of course, discount things, and, mm -hmm. um, you know, we'll put some pictures and stuff up on Facebook of what's left. But, you know, hopefully we can kind of get over that mark, and, and it's just amazing the support that the community showed us yesterday. Um, you know, almost $12,000 of baked goods. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and the bakers that bake the goods. And there must have been restaurants that shut down for the day <laughs> and just used their kitchen to bake for us. I mean, it was just a tremendous outpouring of support for us. Yeah, and that support is always welcome. I know if you guys have any information or you're looking for information, you can head to our website. We'll uh, link you to their Facebook page as well. And you can also head to our Pet Savers tab on localsyr.com.